Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects, and in this video, I'll be opening up the Japanese set Shikoku no Gaisto, which translates to Jet Black Poltergeist. So the set just came out on April 23rd, 2021, and it has a total of 95 cards, including the secret rares. And this will be part of Chilling Rain in English later this year in June, along with Silver Lines and also Matchless Fighters. But my goodness, back onto Jet Black Poltergeist. There's a lot of beautiful alternate art cards in the set, including the Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max. That's the one I'm particularly after, if not the Zero Oro is also really, really nice. There's also a few uh, full art trainers. The ones I'm looking after is uh, the Peonia and also the, the Caitlyn Full Art. So hopefully we'll pull that today. If not, the one I'm really, really after is that Gold Shiny Electrode. I'm actually surprised they brought that shiny Pokemon back from Hidden Fates. It's been a while, but um, that card is really um, special to me. So hopefully we'll pull it today. The best part about Japanese booster boxes is that each of them guarantee at least one secret rare. So let's see what we get. Before we get started, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon, Beyblade, and Mazinga Party content. Let's get started. All right, so before we start opening this beautiful box of Jet Black Poltergeist, I do want to take a moment. Take a look how everything just matches even better than the previous opening with Silver Lens. Matching sleeves, matching playmat, matching scissors. What do you think, Jay? I think it's on point as always. <laughs> Very happy about this, I mean, actually. It's unintentional. It's just weird how it always just comes together so naturally. And not even planned because you guys have been seeing me use these scissors for such a long time. It's been like a year nearly. Right? A long time. But as you can see, set number S6K, Silver Lance was S6H. But I'm definitely excited to see what the pack art looks like. I know it's a little different since it's more metallic. Oh, look at that. Dark purple. I like that so much. Kind of like a bluish purple, but it definitely matches everything. Oh, this is very satisfying. Very hard to say which pack art I like more now because the Silver Lance one was very, very nice. But let's see what secret where we get in this one. Ooh, Spectre and Kalik looks like amazing on this pack art. Definitely better in person. So yes, this set will have the Rengeki logo. I saw my first one. That's a very nice Weezing art. Take a look at that dark type as well, even though it's poison. Oh, we have Knock Monkey. We have Grookey. Whacking the little tree stump. That's so cute. First drum lesson. Cutie Fly. We have Coughing. And Rapid Strike Skull. So yes, lots of Rengeki logos in this set. Ichigeki logos in Silver Lance. But yes, I like the Japanese name for this set. Shukoku no Gaisto. All right, we have, oh, Elite Four member returning from the past. Agatha Love Disc. Oh, very nice lady. And oh my good, let me just tell you, this artwork is forever stepping up moving forward. We have Cobopus, also by Yukimori, so Claymation. And we have Greedent Holographic. Wow, I haven't seen a Greedent Hollow ever. Just a V card, so Greedent's getting some more appreciation. And really cute artwork as well. So many new art styles I'm seeing lately, but it's really cool to always get some refreshing new and nice artwork. We have Malamar. We have Squovit by Dinah Tree Hill. Interesting. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Squovits there. That actually makes a lot of sense. We have Weavile with the Rengeki logo. Lots of nice new hollows in this set. But I'm definitely excited for the V Maxes. I love seeing all the new V and V Max artworks. Especially that the Pokemon is implementing a lot of new like artists in general, not just five band graphics. A lot of new art styles with the V and V Max cards. Oh, that's such a cute Emolga. Crown Tundra. Oh, near the place where you see Calyrex. Interesting. We have Weavile. Swiping food from a bomb of snow. That's so cute. And Peonia. I actually like this regular trainer art. This this looks really nice in the background. I think I believe she's in that area where you play Dynamax Adventures. So that's really cool. The daughter of Peony. Very similar names, but Peony you can get from Silverlands. Peonia you can get from this um, set instead. So we have some interesting gloves. We have Fletchling. Oh, we have Palpitoad. Oh, look at Inke with all the food while camping. Oh, nice! We got our first V card, Celebi. Ooh. So there was already a Celebi V in, uh, I think, Sword and Shield base set. This is number three out of 70, by the way. But I love this artwork way, way more. By also Igawa, the same artist who made Blaziken V Max. Of course, Japanese backings, just to show you guys. But this actually looks a lot more saturated than I'm used to. I feel like they're upping the quality of the Japanese cards. Hit the like button for Celebi. Hopefully, we get the V Max, because I'm definitely very in love with that artwork as well. Even if I pull that in Rainbow, I will be very, very happy. Because I'm sure the quality on that is amazing. Oh my gosh, Seabull. I haven't seen that gym leader for such a long time. Mareep, Kecleon, Golette, and Golurk. Wow, right after one another in the same pack. That's so interesting. Ghost type though, so that is actually kind of makes sense. Ghost and ground, I believe. All right, let's continue here. I think I see a VMAX. Let's see what it is. We have Thwacky in the snow. Everyone's in this. All the starters are in the snow. <laughs> Nuzleaf. 
Love this. Lovely seeing third generation Pokemon. Nice. We got Ghost Rider Calyrex. Very, very happy. I wonder if these are easy to pull, but I do like how the VMAXs have very interesting colored borders, which is very nice. I'm actually going to put this in a sleeve and I'll, I'll compare it to the other Calyrex I pulled in the previous video. Just going to give you a little hint. But what I'm noticing is that with the VMAX cards, there's a lot more coloring on the top right corner. Even this one here, we have a lot of blue. I really, really like that. I don't, I don't know what you guys think to it, but this is number 37 out of 70. Sorry, lots of art appreciation. I'm just really loving how Pokemon are really stepping up their game with the artwork. Like how they did in Matchless Fighters with the alternative artworks, but they really, they're spoiling us now. Four alternative artworks per set. So eight in total from both Silverlands and Jet Black Poltergeist. So Chilling Rain's gonna have a ton, a ton of alternative artworks in English. Caitlin, very nice. Very, very lovely trader. I'm sure the full art too in person looks great. All right, let's keep going. But definitely very happy to get the Calyrex VMAXs. Now I'm hoping to get Celebi on the other side usually. Sometimes they're in the same pile, but sometimes they're not. This is such a cute artwork of Blitzel just standing in the water alone. I hope it's not like scared or anything. <laughs> we have coughing here. Oh, there's our secret rare. We got Metagross. Actually, this is really cool. What That's do you think? That's a to cool this? secret rare. Wow, hit that like button for Metagross V. That background is amazing. This is number 77 out of 70. So definitely the secret rare. I'm definitely noticing secret rares appearing more on the right side nowadays. But very nice artwork. Metagross is a cool Pokemon. If anything, if I don't get the Celebi, also very happy with the Metagross V Max because this set is definitely my favorite out of the two. I do like more of the cards from this set. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what other V and V Max cards we can get. Not expecting a second secret rare. Very nice gold duck. Wow. Um, we have cast form, water form, Mareep. Wow, Grapploft is really taking that tree out. Look at those splinters. Do not mess with Grapploft unless you want to be splintered. <laughs> um, but yes, wow. Very fast on the secret rare there. There's so many crazy um, artworks though to choose from, especially there's a lot of rainbow rares, alt arts, but the gold card. I'll have to really search for that shiny electrode. Because I captured a shiny Voltorb in Sapphire version. And I thought it was cool. It's a blue Voltorb in Sapphire version. I thought the color matching was really on point. And I evolved it to Electrode and that stayed with me for a while. So it's a memory Pokemon. It's a favorite memory Pokemon. That's why I like it so much. All right, we have Rapid Strike Scroll. We have Kecleon upside down. This is actually really cute by Oshiyama. And then we have Dot. Timpole. Oh, Zara Aura V. Another very nice artwork here. Number 24 out of 70. Actually, Jay's a big fan of Zara Aura. I like Zara Aura. I know if you pull the There's fort. a card um, that looks like it in Magicka Party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the biggest reason why he likes Zara Aura. Because <laughs> there, there is a Majin um, or a creature from Magicka Party that from afar looks like it. When you look up close, they look very different. But the from color afar, scheme. It looks like Zara Aura. Especially the action pose. Oh, we have Haunter. There's also a Pentom in the set. I think you'll yes. be really fond of that. And that's lots of ghost types which is nice we have wow fletchling and talonflame very very nice artwork of talonflame i like how you can catch the tail there i think the tail on talonflame looks super cool all right like a red hawk so almost done with the first pile here let's see what other v and v maxes we can get on, on top of the other beautiful cards we have the graveyard we can plant the carrots we have the um ghastly cast form ladian oh tapu finny the tapus are still relevant <laughs> of course very playable i'm sure Hence why a certain Pokemon tend to be very, very relevant. Tapu Coco especially. I've been noticing that card on so many V and V Max cards. Continuing. We have this beautiful energy. Aurora energy? It looks very Aurora-like. Beautiful. School of it and K with all the food while camping. Ladyba and Malamar. Alrighty, on to the second pile now with the bold purple pack. What's your favorite though? Do you like Ghost Rider or Ice Rider Calyrex? I chose the ghost one, as you can probably see from my enthusiasm in this video, and also the sleeves. I'll probably get the Ice Rider one though, um, the sleeves as well. I feel like it's good to match. And we got yes. Gengar! Gengar in Japanese. Wow. Very, that's a handsome Gengar. <laughs> yeah. So sexy. Look at that tongue. Wow. wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that no, is, can I have that? that is, yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, now you want me to give you the Here you go. And a like, sleeve. Okay, here you can have a sleeve too. We, have, we must protect all the Gengars for cameramen. It's very important. Thank you. And the Phils or the Crobats, uh, if you don't know who Phil is. Oh wow, this is so nice. I think one of my friends decided to call Gengar Chad. Oh yeah. So I, th I think um, cameraman still calls him Pentom, which is a Korean name for Gengar. No. Seismitoad. Yeah, that, that works. I think uh, cameraman's very satisfied now with this opening. <laughs> this I really game. don't care too much about the secret rare. I just want this. You just wanted the gang card. <laughs> Collect your favorites, guys. Don't just depend on the secret rares. Me, I'm actually after all the amazing V Maxes in this set. They look beautiful. 
Really can't wait to see either Metagross or Celebi. There should be at least one more that we're going to open from the set. But it's okay. There's also more boxes coming. So even though we didn't get any alternative artworks today, it's okay. We're still going to be persistent. And also, I'm going to be opening this set in different languages. As you guys know, my channel likes to do multi-language openings. Um, the Taiwanese version of this has already been announced. Oh, there's Rillaboom. Very, very nice, refreshingly new artwork by Hitoshi Arika with the Rengeki logo as well. So yes, the Taiwanese version has been announced. No word on the Korean or the Thai version yet, but once that comes out, I'll definitely make a short for you guys so you're up to date. But I think opening this set in different languages will definitely be fun to collect. Even the main cards. Oh, that's a very nice Crabominable by Nagishi as well. One of my favorite artists. I love that art style of his. Okay. Continuing, I think there's like about 10 or 9 packs left. Still due for one more VMAX, so let's see what we can get. But I'm very happy with that Celebi and the Calyrex Ghost Rider VMAX. Agatha, Fletchling. Oh, this is such a cute card of Grookey. If you're a Grookey fan, definitely keep that card for life. Because Oh, we got Blissey V. Actually, a very nice V card. Look at those bold colors, especially in the background. It looks like it's fighting something in the forest. It looks like a vine whip. I don't know what you guys think to that. That's a very nice card of Blissey. Blissey hasn't gotten much spotlight, so that's very nice. De definitely a very formidable Pokemon in the game. Every time I did like the Battle Frontier in Emerald, I'd always get knocked out by it. Because I, I always had Pokemon that used a lot of like special moves rather than physical moves because it has really low defense but very high special defense. We have C dot, sorry guys, got a little technical there. Blissey, like I love, but I, I have like a love hate relationship with Blissey because it's always defeated me <laughs> in the past. All right, we have, I think, seven or eight packs left. But let's see what else we can get. But still, the Blissey artwork is very nice. Do you want Hunter as well? The card? Or oh, it's okay. You just like Thank Gengar. He's, he's just a fan of Gengar. I see how it is. We have Greedent Holographic. Lots of normal type appreciation in the set. Which is interesting for a ghost type set. A ghost type focus set, meaning. Alrighty, let's see what else we can get. Let's see what other sparkly cards we can get. We have a Galarian Weezing. Very interesting artwork to that cast form. Knitted cast form. Nuzleaf. Crabrawler. Not Crabrawler. And we have Cobalion Holographic. Wow, very, very nice on a lone mountain. I definitely like the vertically oriented hollow pattern, which is very nice. Sometimes it really intensifies the artwork. Alrighty, one to the front. Let's see what we can get from this pack. We have Zeb Strike, a very intense artwork with the Rengeki logo. We have Coughing. Oh, look at Clavopoi, so cute. Uh, claymation form. And then an orb. Alrighty. And I think there's a gold card to that orb as well, which is really beautiful. I wouldn't mind. See, certain item cards I don't mind pulling because sometimes they look really good on gold card format, I guess. You could say Ampharos. It's been a while, Ampharos. We have Emolga. I like that little emphasis on electric types in this set. And we have Lucky Energy. For some reason, I remember the name of that one. It's so cute. It has like the little stars on it. All right, we have four more packs. Still got to get that VMAX. Let's see what else we can get. All right. And I think it's in this pack. I saw a little glimpse of it. We have Seabold. Nice gym leader. We have Kecleon, Crabominable, Love Disc, and ooh, oh yes, we got Celebi V Max. This is a lovely card. I think one of my favorite V Maxes, to be honest with you. It's so cute how they're bringing like the legendary like Pixie Pokemon. I know Victini was featured in Rengeki Master, but tech, check that out. Four out of seventy. So I'm just giving you guys a lot of detail because I like the shading on this too. Very intense. So very pleased with this box so far, and a very nice full art of Metagross. Three more packs. So let's see if we can pull at least one more V. If not, I'm happy with just a couple of hollows. Can't expect too much. One to the front. Japanese booster boxes are thankfully very consistent in terms of pull rates. Sometimes you have the lucky exception where you pull two secret rares. We have Talonflame. But usually they would appear one on each side. That's what I've seen in the past, especially. Okay, two more packs. Let's see what else we can get. One to the front. Very nice wheezing. So you both have Kanto wheezing and Galarian wheezing in the set, which is really cool. Timple. Oh, nice. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. I'm glad we got both the V and V Max. Their their artwork is very very nice. I like the little spirits and also um, Spectre's like eyelashes here. Looks really really cool. For those who didn't know, there's a, there's a theory going around. I'm not sure if it's confirmed or not, but the Calyr uh, the Calyrex is noble steeds. Whether it's Glastria or Spectre, come from a passed away Rapidash, which is very interesting. Um, Glastria being like the shell and Spectra being like the spirit. So that's very interesting. And we have Peonia as our last card. So I'll be right back with you all. Alrighty, so time for the final review, including the hollows. But let me tell you, this was definitely a thrill opening this box and this set for the first time. Lots of beautiful cards as a whole. All the hollows, nice Rillaboom there. But also what I look forward to are all the new V and V Maxes, especially checking out the new artworks in real life. It's definitely a different experience in real life than just seeing it from a screen. So we have Zero Oro, very intense with the lightning artwork. Blissey V. 
Shadow Rider Calyrex. I'm sorry, just this artwork is so nice, both on the V and the V Max cards, especially also the Celebi. It's a lot bolder than I would expect. We have Celebi V Max, also very pleased with that, and Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max, very very nice. But let's not forget, we also have that guaranteed secret rare, which is the Metagross V. Actually, not disappointed with this because the artwork to this is absolutely gorgeous. Now we're gonna hope for the no, V Max in the next opening. So there you have it. We have a total of seven pulls from this booster box. If you enjoyed today's opening, please make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon, Beyblade, and Mazaka Party content. Stay safe everyone, we'll see you in the next video.